Hello YouTube, so I'm super excited to uh, bring to you today one of the first unboxings of the new Samsung Tablet S6. Now the Samsung Tab S6 uh, is a little bit of a change in direction for what Samsung usually does with its tablets. Uh, with this tablet, what they've done is they have put in the latest Snapdragon chipset. Uh, it's fully specced out and uh, I'm hoping will offer a really good video editing platform for myself. Um, I'm currently using a combination of uh, an Essential PH1, which, well, I'm not using it anymore because the screen is now broken on it, uh, a Huawei P30 Pro, uh, and my desktop computer to edit videos. Now, the uh, desktop computer is an Intel 8400. Um, it's got 32 gigs of RAM. It's got... Uh, a solid state uh, M2 hard drive, and it's still not as as smooth as um, editing video on, believe it or not, a mobile device like a cell phone. Uh, so that's the main reason why I, why I went with the Samsung Tab S6, is I wanted a much better video editing experience. Um, I'm also intrigued by the new uh, S Pen that Samsung's including with this tablet. Um, it comes with 256, uh, gigabytes of memory, eight gigs of RAM. Uh, it also has a micro SD storage slot, and I'm also hoping that this will be the first device ever that'll actually work with the uh, GoPro um, SD card reader. Now, Samsung does have skeletons in the closet. Uh, this is a Samsung Tab S2. I bought this uh, a couple years ago. I paid top dollar for it, around you know five or 600 bucks at the time, and it proved to be an absolute piece of trash. Uh, I should have I should have returned it to Best Buy while I had the chance, and I didn't, and I've regretted that decision ever since. Uh, it's a beautiful screen. It's uh, you know optically looks nice, but firmware updates were garbage. Battery life sucks, and it's got these weird uh, quirks in it, like under twenty percent battery power, the thing just shuts down randomly. Uh, so needless to say. The biggest thing holding me back from buying the Tab S6 was my experiences with the S2. Um, but not many companies are coming out with new Android tablets, especially not ones that are as highly spec as this one is. And uh, so yeah, that's why I decided to take the plunge. Um, so what I'm gonna do is open up the box, do a basic unboxing of uh, this tablet, and then later down the road, I will do a video editing review of this tablet. Man, my kids' safety scissors really, really suck at uh, opening up the package here, so I'll use a steak knife instead. Now, first impressions is this thing feels really light. The whole package feels incredibly, uh, incredibly light. Uh, okay, so there's... Uh, The tablet itself, it's in one of these, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a plastic felty type of uh, sleeve. Well, the tablet feels quite solid. Um, Probably about the same feel as a uh, iPad Pro. It's got a nice aluminum backing. That was one of my biggest pet peeves with the fit and finish of the uh, S2 was that this this backing, I think it's plastic and it just, you know, for a tablet of that value, it just felt, you know, kind of cheap. But this one has an aluminum backing. Uh, it feels, feels nice and solid. Um, See if it's got enough power to turn on. Yeah, it's gonna turn on. Nice. Okay, let's see what else is in the box while that thing is turning on. Comes with a really cheap charger. Like this is very cheap, like, I don't know. I don't even know if it's worth plugging in. Uh, comes with the Samsung S Pen. 
this thing was supposed to be redesigned for this tablet. I have no idea if it is or if it isn't. Uh, feels, I don't know, feels like, uh, I don't know, cheap fork. <laughs> uh, it's got some buttons on it. Sorry, I can't really give you much of an indication of how all that works. Comes with a very, very crappy USB uh, C cable. Uh, so far, Samsung, I must say that this experience is ending at the tablet. Uh, geez, you pay 1200 bucks for a tablet, including the type cover, which hasn't shipped yet. And you think you could spend an extra 13 cents on a much better charger and a much better cable. Uh, what else comes in here? Uh, it comes with a pin. I'm assuming that allows you to put in a micro SD card because this one does not have any uh, mobile data capabilities. Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, I have no idea what this is. I'm sure it has some type of purpose, but uh, there looks like there's a couple. Oh, okay. I know what this is. This tool removes the tips from this pen and there's additional tips in there. Learn something new every day. Well, that's it. Whoever reads that crap anyway. Okay, well, I'm gonna do some of these things off lines or well, out of the view so you guys don't see my passwords. Not that anybody's gonna stalk me and try and connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so I've uh, set up the Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab S6. I have also installed uh, Super Shields. I got this off of Amazon. Um, it was pretty much the only screen shield that was available through Prime uh, for the S6 right now, and it shipped, you know, it got here before the tablet actually did. Uh, as far as the shield is concerned, it actually fits very well. Um, it's super clear, still a couple little air bubbles in uh, here and there, but I'm sure those will dissipate. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is see if this tablet works for the sole purpose of why I purchased it and that's to uh, get some GoPro editing going on here. So I am going to first download the GoPro app. Okay, GoPro app is now uh, installed. Open it up. Uh, find my camera. Allow it to access the device, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my GoPro to find the device. Preferences, connection, connect the device, GoPro app. Okay. Let's try that again. Hero 7, continue. Okay, so um, I've got the GoPro app open here. I've got it connected to, uh, I've got it connected to um, the Samsung Galaxy S6. Uh, we're going to download these last couple videos that I took with it. Before downloading one or more of these videos, may not play back properly on your device due to the high data rate, high frame rate, or other uh, file properties. So I recorded these videos at uh, some of the highest settings on the GoPro. I think it was uh, hyper smooth 4K 60. Um, so yeah, let's see uh, see what it does. So right now it seems to be downloading the videos fairly quickly. Uh, when I was in the Wi-Fi settings, it showed a uh, connection speed of about 300 megabits per second. Um, these videos aren't very long, though. The total length is probably about uh, one 
one minute, give or take. Okay, it's all on your GoPro app, blah, 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 I got it. Um, let's go back and see if it's in there. Okay, it's in there. Uh, share or save to your phone, trim and add GPS sticker. So this is the first time I've been using it. It's gonna give you all the, uh, all the different nonsense for how to use it. Let's play. Wow, the video picture on this is absolutely incredible. I know that the video is probably not giving it, showing it justice, but uh, wow. 4K 60 frames per second is running ultra smooth. No issues whatsoever. Now let's look at some of these other videos here. Incredible. The screen on this tablet is uh, is very, very impressive. I don't see any stuttering, any shuddering, uh, no issues with the GoPro videos. Uh, so I'm going to do a very, very quick um, edit here, if I can figure out how. Start a new quick story. Add all the videos I took today to the quick start story. So you did see some slight stuttering there in the uh, creation of the video. Um, I'm not sure if that's just the theme, so I am going to change the theme up here to see if there's, uh, if that changes anything. You know what? It's actually pretty good. I don't see the, uh, the concerns with the stuttering that, uh, that I had on that last filter. Let's try a different one here. Sorry, I know this is getting kind of annoying. Okay, so I'm going to now save it. Share it, save to the phone. Let's see how long it takes to render that uh, 20 second 4K clip. That was actually uh, pretty sweet. So this is the reason why I bought this uh, tablet, was to be able to edit uh, some nice video, uh, nice GoPro videos in 4K on here. Um, so then you could easily share it to YouTube, save it to the cloud, send it to messages, whatever. I'm um, just going to exit out of here, see if I can find where the gallery is. Okay, so I guess this wouldn't be a review of the uh, uh, Tab uh, S6 if I didn't do some something with this pencil. Now, um, I am pretty impressed so far with the GoPro capabilities and the video editing capabilities of this tablet. So I'm in this uh, Note um, application and was going to... I don't even know how to be honest, I don't even know how to use it. 
Um, click that button there. You know what? I could actually see myself using this for other things other than uh, GoPro videos. Um, the feeling even over the screen protector is uh, is pretty slick. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. It's actually nicer than writing with a pen and paper. Uh, yeah, you know what? That is pretty cool. Um, so I'm sure there's other cool features that you can use this thing for aside from, you know, what I've shown you here today. You'll have to watch other videos for that. All right. Okay. Well, uh, hope you like this review. Um, well, actually not really a review, but a first impressions and, uh, unboxing of the, uh, Samsung, Samsung Tab S6. Uh, if you like what I had to show you today, please subscribe and, uh, yeah, check out videos, uh, that I have coming out in the future with a more in-depth look at video editing with uh, the Samsung Tab S6. Thank you very much.